good evening everybody and uh, once again welcome to the video uh, so thank you so much uh, i'm glad you guys are liking all the data modeling videos in dynamo dv now this is a again very yet fun exercise we are gonna try to model linkedin uh, on dynamo db so how we can achieve that using a single dynamo db table i'll be teaching you that so let me share my screen um here we are designing a linkedin post right a user you know creates a post right on linkedin and on each post you know several people can like let's say uh, you know user one user two liked on the post user one user two commented on the post right uh, so let's try to model this uh, in DynamoDB and see all the access pattern. So the first thing I do, as I say, right, the first thing as I, as I, as I do is I will write down the basic entity here. So a user will have a username, a name, an alias, a profile photo, right? These are some of the things that a user might have. Again, it might have more, but I'm just taking bare minimum here. Now, a user will create a post, right? So the post will have a text, will have a body, a date when he did that. So I'm going to reference the post here. Uh, in the post uh, uh, section, I'm going to reference the user ID, which means the post is created by some user, right? Do you guys agree on that, right? Similarly, now here I'm using a design pattern called pre-compute design pattern that I'll show you. So uh, before we jump into these two columns, I'm going to show you this one. So post comment, uh, post comment count right so I'll have a comment ID a comment text a comment date and I'll be referencing the post and the user so I can know who made the comment on which post he made the comment right similarly post like here I will have a post ID and a user ID so I know who was the user who liked the post uh, right on which post was that right now this is interesting here it's a pre-compute design pattern which means every time a user like I will increment the counter you don't want to perform this computation uh, on runtime and hence we use a design pattern here. I will show you the access pattern shortly. Uh, when I, you know, show you the, uh, I'll show you the, sorry, I'll show you the implementation when I show you the table, right? Now, my access patterns are for a user, fetch all the information, show me the post day, uh, show me all the people who liked on the post day, who, show me all the people who commented on the post day, show me total number of likes on post day, show me total number of comments on post day. Similarly for comment, show me all the comments for um, on a post by a user A, fetch all the comments for a user X on a post B, right? So let's understand how we have, how, how I essentially came with this model, okay? So again, I go with the same approach as I told you in the previous video, user, right? So I made a entity here called user, right? User, user, and then I have a JSON object here, a map of object, which has the username, profile picture, which is essentially an S3 link. Again, just some data to show you, right? Now, come here. We have a post, right? A user will create a post, so right? I essentially made a post. So what I'm doing here is if you observe post, post hash one user hash one which means this post is done by user one and remember i told you the concept of reference to way embedding right so here what i'm doing here is observe okay let me zoom out here i'm referencing it okay so observe this line here i'm referencing it okay so now for a given user i know um, so for a user i know all the posts he has made right now the same concept applies and we do similar items for uh, comments and likes right so for example uh, likes like one like two like three people are liking on the post right so this is done by which user now here I'm doing a little smart here right so anytime a post is created I'm gonna initialize the post that counter uh, all the values to zero and anytime a like is added right I will simply go and increment the counter here so one like added okay one Second like came, the counter is two. Third like came, counter three. Fourth like came, counter is four. So I am gonna increment any time a person likes on a post. And why? Because now if I wanna get the total number of likes, I don't have to iterate over all the data. It's a design pattern. Uh, you can Google it. It's called uh, pre-compute design pattern, right? Similarly for the comments, right? Um, uh, comments can be done by user, right? And here I have the date, the comment that the user gave, right? and I'm referencing here uh, the user who made the comment. Now what you observe carefully, uh, there's a reason why I have this GSI. You will ask Samuel, why didn't you represent the like? You, you have referenced the post here, right? So for example, the likes are usually on a post, right? And it's done by a user, right? So why did you make a separate column and not do here? There is a reason. 
because if i do this here a post can have a thousand and a, and a million like that table will grow massive and hence i separated out the likes likes uh, view in a separate gsi table and same i did for the comment there could be thousands of comments and hence i didn't want it to put it in this uh, view again this will make sense once i show the dynamo db table so let's see the aggregate view so here the same data that i have inserted this is how it looks like now let's talk about the access pattern here right for a user i can fetch all the information their name their profile all of that information right uh, this is the gsi 2 that is let's go for gsi 1 gsi 1 user view so for a given user i can see all the detail for example this user um, you know commented or uh, commented uh, on the post one this was the date when he commented this was his actual comment so here i can see all the interaction done by a user the gsi 2 shows me the stats for a given post so for a given post i can see how many likes are there and how many comments are there total this is a pre-compute design pattern and remember i purposely separated separated out the likes and comments on a separate index so now this is my like index so i can easily come here and say okay for a post show me all the people who liked on it so i can see user 2 user 2 what user 2 user 3 user 4 so three people liked right uh, on the on, on the post so i could essentially uh, uh, if you go on linkedin i can uh, see right on a, on a single post if you go to any random post right you can see who are the people who liked here right so for example uh, let me see so here you can see right the number of likes and comments and all of that right and once you click here what you do is you paginate and then they show you all the results right you see there's a pagination see there's scroll so that's how you do so here you will show first 10 and then you will iterate and paginate and show more result same goes for the comment for a post you will fetch all the comments the raw comments their date um, who are the user who did comments right so this is how you will model uh, a linkedin right a post right the main challenge here in the in the in designing is the comments and and, and likes because you might have millions and hundreds of likes right and hence it is important that you model that access patterns very carefully hence i made a pre-compute pattern anytime uh, on a post there is an interaction whether a like a comment or a share i will simply increment the counter here in this right so for example if you observe now tomorrow let's say i want to add a new feature four shares right i can see number of shares right how many people shared this right three people shared right so that comes from here the metadata see all this 145 comments three share what do you think all this happens magic no that's what they do right they essentially pre-compute this right uh, it's a design pattern right so now hopefully this makes uh, sense to you right so what we do essentially we write the entity then we uh, define the references here right i made the references we wrote down the access pattern we essentially on the excel sheet we made this design uh, we modeled it pretty nicely and now uh, you can see i can you know for a given user i can fetch the post for a given post i can get all the likes for a given post i can fetch all the comments right for a given post i can fetch the stats how many likes comment review share this that blah 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 all this information you see how the data is flowing so i hope you guys have enjoyed these videos and if you do really enjoy these contents let me know in the comment section and i will leave the spreadsheet in the description so if you want to check this out how i model it please download and feel free to share this video with your co-workers uh, if needed thank you so much for watching keep smiling and i'll see you guys in the next video